Hello friends, it's Shelly. Um, I'm going to show you how to do a jogless join. You know, I um, saw this from a lady. I'm going to give her credit. Her name is Betty. Um, she posted in one of the Facebook groups um, how she does her jogless join. And uh, I have knitted so many things in my time, <laughs> but I have never done a jogless join. So this, was, I, this is new to me and I think it's brilliant. So I am going to make a little video um, that will show you how it's done. You know, it's, it's quite easy. Um, and, and it's something that I think that I'll probably use a lot of, um, but, but I'm not sure. Like I, I, I like how I do my other join too, but, um, this one I will say takes a little bit of practice to get it perfect. Um, this little swatch that I've done here, um, is more perfect than the last couple attempts that I had, but practice makes perfect and I'm not one to give up. So, um, I hope you enjoy this little video and I hope you learn along with me. So now I, I'm going to just show you what, what to do here. So we're going to cut this yarn. We're going to do another yarn change. Open our yarn feeder. We're going to put it between the last white and the first black. We're going to grab our next color. And I'm going to grab the, the um, same color as the peach. Okay. We're going to put it in our yarn feeder. And normally what we have done is we put it between the last white and the last black. We have both of them there. But we're going to skip this back. Okay, so that you have it crossed like that. So instead of having it there, we're moving it back one. And then we are going to knit like normal. I'm doing 10 rows here for each one, but I'll stop after about five rows. That's what she does. Okay. And then you take your two ends and you slightly pull them. And you can see those two stitches um, coming close together. And then you knot it and you give it a real tight knot so that it's secure. Then you take your scissors and you cut it off about maybe two inches or so. Um, Betty said that she um, will generally work about five rows or so into her pattern and before she, um, before she ties it and tightens it off. But if you're doing less than, than five rows, then that's no problem, do it after one or two rows. So I'm gonna cut this off. I'm going to open my latch. I'm going to stick that between the last white, the first black, I'm going to grab my color, change, put it into my yarn feeder. Then instead of leaving it there, I'm going to swing it back and put it behind that last white needle. Okay, then I'm going to knit. If you're only knitting like two or three rows, then you would tighten it after the first or second row, of course. Um, but I'm doing 10 rows of each color just so you can see. And we're going to see how this works. Okay, so that's five. I'm going to take those two ends. I'm going to pull them so you can see those stitches snugging up there. Oh, it just looks so great. I can tell already. Okay, and we're going to tie a knot. Then we're going to cut our yarn. And we're going to continue. Okay. Now, generally, I would do my cast off, but I'm not going to. I'm going, I, like I would do it the right way, but I'm just going to take it off the machine so we can take a look at what it looks like. So I'm going to just remove it, just like that. And then we're going to have a look. Let me remove my machine. Okay, look at that. Wow, it's perfect. I love it. There's the seam right there. Just passed it again. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> right there. You can hardly see it. It juts out just a tiny little bit. But hey, I'm new at this. Like, not new at knitting, but new at the jogless join. And I think that's pretty good. So there you have it, my friends. Betty, you're a genius. Thank you for uh, posting your... your um, pictures in the face in a Facebook group so that everybody could see them and we could uh, learn. I might have been, uh, I might have knitted a lot of things in my time, but uh, this is a new technique for me. So um, I'm learning along right along with you and um, we'll get better in time as we go along, but um, I'm very impressed. Thanks a lot uh, for joining me, my friends. Um, take care and have a great day.